Top stories we're following here on this Friday, and we are waiting for a court appearance for the suspect who was armed with a knife and lunged at officers, they say, inside of a Brooklyn subway station. This happened last Sunday. They say that forced the officers to open fire in the subway system. The shots ended up injuring the suspect as well as a couple of innocent bystanders. Daryl Mickles will be arraigned from his hospital bed. We're also awaiting the release of that key NYPD body camera video showing the shooting. This is supposed to happen after it is presented to a grand jury, which could happen at some point today. And we are following developments in the escalating tensions between Israel and Lebanon. The IDF carried out an airstrike in the capital of Beirut, targeting a senior Hezbollah military leader who has been wanted by the U.S. government since 1983. And this comes after two days of attacks that targeted Hezbollah operatives. At least 20 people were killed and thousands of people were injured when electronic devices were detonated across Beirut. Officials say this attack was 15 years in the making. And in New Jersey, two women Women were killed when a fast-moving fire engulfed a multi-family home. This happened early this morning in Patterson. The fire spread to a couple of other homes in the process. 17 people now have to find another place to stay tonight. Cops don't have any information as to what caused the fire as fire investigators are still going through that. We also don't know the identities of the victim. We do know that investigation continues in Patterson at this hour. Right. And right now we are warming up into the upper 70s and the lower 80s. Also looking at a mixture of sunshine and clouds. There's a small chance for an isolated shower, especially east of the city. But things will stay mainly dry and breezy with northeast winds up to 20 to 25 miles per hour. Tonight, 61. Still partly cloudy. The 50s north and west staying breezy. Tomorrow, a similar setup. 77 will have periods of sunshine and clouds and just an isolated area of rainfall, especially north and east again. But look at Sunday, the start of fall, temperatures cool down to the upper 60s, lower 70s, 72 on Sunday, more sun the second half of Sunday, Monday near 70, and then things start to change Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, rain chances increase, especially Wednesday into early Thursday. All right, so now, are you fans of the pumpkin spice latte? Do we like that? No? No, that's, that's a two. That's a two. <laughs> Where are you going with this? Well, I'm just curious. It's a survey. Non-scientific. This is about fall? Yeah, well, that starts this weekend. <laughs> Have a great day.